if you're looking to book Sun Princess and you're wondering about the pools, the bars, the drinks, the accommodation, the restaurants, the food, the crew, then this video might help. Hi, it's Lynn's from Sweet Natured. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together. And this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. Well, it's time for the full cruise review of Sun Princess Lens. Yes. I've been looking forward to doing this one. I know. Uh, it was a ship we'd waited to get on for a long time. Yes. Was it worth it? Well, we'll figure out as we're going along. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start by looking at the accommodation that we had. Yes. Which was a deluxe balcony. Yes. Now, most of the balconies on the ship are classed as deluxe balconies. Yeah. What was your impression of it? What did you think? I, I thought it was very modern, yet still warm, because sometimes it can go a bit too slick and it can feel a bit cold. Yeah, I agree. I loved the the dressing gowns we got were gorgeous. Oh, they were fantastic. Was so soft. soft and fluffy. Lots they were of... selling them to bring home. I think they were about seventy five dollars each. Oof. Oof. And they were heavy as well, so they're gonna yeah. you're probably gonna have to pay for them in your luggage allowance. <laughs> yeah. You wear them to go on the plane. <laughs> um, loads of storage. Yes. Loads of storage, but I I don't know. I when you've got you're on a cruise and as you can see as as we go about as we walked in, I saw there was things like our shoes and clothes we've got on the go. Yeah, but we're, we're showing it at sort of the back end of the holiday when Lifting. we've actually yeah using it all the time. Because when you do the initial tours like we did, yeah, if you want to see this in its pristine, let's just go back and look at our cabin tour when we first got on. Yes, but the reality is they don't look like that all the time you're on them. They don't stay like that. No, no. no. So you know. There's, there's stuff out there, but we could have put other stuff away as well. Well, I guess we always... I'm sure everybody's the same. They just find... Use the chair. <laughs> you do. <laughs> or a corner of, of the sofa. To put things on. Yes. We got a kettle. We got a kettle. I don't think we used it, though, did we? No, I don't think we did. Fantastic hairdryer that as well. That hairdryer was fabulous. And I, I've had a look at the products as well. And they have a, some curling tongs called a three-day bender. I'm surprised Virgin hasn't got those ones. <laughs> The in-room entertainment on the TV, you can do a lot to it, through it, including booking dining reservations, checking your bill, but you can also set whether you want the room serv serviced as well. Yes. Which is nice, and it all worked as we as we wanted it to. Yeah, lovely bathroom, shower. Yeah, proper glass doors on it, which isn't a usual thing for princesses' balcony rooms historically. Yes. But now we've gone there. And we've given it 9 out of 10. Yeah, I liked it. It had a bath to, to shave your legs. I thought you meant to get a drink. I was say, I had plenty of them around. I don't remember it being in the room. Okay, food and dining. Yes. Now, this is Princess's biggest ship. Yeah. It's still not as big as things like Icon. No. But it's their biggest one. And as such, there are more choices of places to eat, both included within the fair uh -huh. and speciality dining as well. Yes. What were your thoughts when it came to the food? How did it fare to Princess, but also to other ships? Or oh, the cruise lines. I understand. I understand. I found it a little bit more elevated than regular. I mean, the food is usually good on Princess, but this was a little bit more above and beyond. Do you not agree? No, I completely agree. I, I think they raised oh. the game. You know, even Alfredo's, which is our favourite pizzeria yes. on a cruise ship. Yes. Even this was better on here than it was on other Princess ships. Oh. Uh, such a, a fantastic the, the products they use are so authentic they are well just before well until we go on to the rest of the food would mm -hmm. you like to invite people to subscribe i i would love for you to subscribe thank you as always if you already have done honestly it makes my absolute day when i see it go up thank you and of course you can follow along on all of the social media at sweet nature not just tiktok and instagram and we'd like to give a special shout out to one of our members Ooh. well Technically, two of our members in one, uh, Terry and Dean. Oh, Terry and Dean, you know we love you. Right, on with the food. Thank you, Terry and Dean. <laughs> uh, of course, whilst there is all the fancy food, there's regular breakfast stuff as well, and the new American diner for the main dining room. Yes. Uh, which is a set meal. Look at the size uh, of that toast. That's big toast. Um, 
it is very different to what you find on other princess ships. Yes. Yeah. The Dario experience, you, you can see these in our full speciality dining room where we go into them a lot more, or mm-hmm. the inclusive food if you want to sort of really dig into this. But they've got things on here that not only have not any other princess ship got, but no other cruise line. No, no. And, oh my goodness, that sushi. Oh, I loved it. The Kai Sushi. I mean, oh. we, we said this in the speciality dining guide, um, but we talked about it as soon as we're eating it on there. It is by far the best sushi we've had on any ship. I l- absolutely loved it. Loved it. And we and we like Raw on Five on Celebrity. Sushi doesn't scare us. Oh, no, we love sushi. And, oh, it was so good. But everything in there were great. Would I have liked it to be in uh, sort of its own private restaurant bit? Yeah, maybe, but that's kind of what sushi restaurants are like on pretty much every cruise line. They are on Princess. You know, they're somewhere well, in the... They are on Royal, they are on Celebrity. They're in that bit where people can walk near it. Yeah, you're not in... Uh, MSC, they literally can walk through the middle of you. And Royal Caribbean, I'm thinking yeah. of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it would be nice for that, but that's just kind of how they are on all the ships. Mm-hmm. But the food, just in general, I'm um, uh, completely with you, was elevated oh, way right. beyond the other princess ships. Oh, yes. On. Certainly recently. I know people have talked about princess having great food for a long time, before we went on Princess, they said, if you like Celebrity, go on Princess. Cause yes, we used to get asked that a lot, didn't we? Yeah. We did. But compared to you know, the most recent Princess ones we've done, uh, Regal and Enchanted, it's definitely a level above. That could have been saucier. But I've, I've got a tip in our, our speciality dining guide. You have, yeah. Uh, in terms of how to make that a little bit better. Mm-hmm. But overall, you're not going to be hungry on this ship. Definitely not. Definitely, and whatever mood you're in, you can find something to service your appetite. You can, whether you just want some cheesy chips like you did then and a hot dog. Yes. Or you want the fanciest uh, of meals, you can go get it. Yeah. The biggest change on board, um, I would say, is the sort of doing away with the traditional buffet. No, they've gone. No, they've gone with the eatery, haven't they? Which yeah. is very much more like Virgin Voyages. It's yeah. It's like Virgin's Galley and NCL's equivalent, where you still walk around, you can still see it, but it's all prepared for you and passed to you. You don't sort of get your own tongs in. Oh, like the P&O Keys on Iona and Navia. But on a much bigger on scale. On a much, much much bigger scale, yes. Um, and there are certain things that's within there that it's cooked to order. Yes. So if you go down to the pasta station, mm-hmm. for instance, they're preparing you that. While you wait. Yes. Uh, so that it's not sat there and going sort of a bit Soggy. rubbery. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, what you're saying. Now, they do have some uh, special bits within there, which if you've got the Princess Premier package, they're included with it. So if you have got that, I don't think they necessarily make it clear that they're I don't included. think they really um, talk about that, no. no. but they are. So, you know, treat yourself. The one that you had there, which was the Crab Benedict... It was so good. You loved that, didn't you? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was and so I had good. And the, the shrimp roll, and that was equally fantastic. That could have been served in the wake on the Virgin Voyages ship, and you wouldn't have bat an eyelid. And you'd have said, this is fantastic. Yes, yes. So, yeah, and this, that's technically considered to be part of the buffet. Oh, my goodness, these desserts. And if you do fancy something a little bit sweeter, mm-hmm. uh, again, included in the Premier package and the Plus package, albeit you can only have two a day on the Plus package. You only need two. <laughs> if that two, two, I don't know. We had this to share. We did have this to share, and it was the only one we did. It was very good, but, I mean, wowzers, if you can do more than one a day, more power to you. That's it, because on Plus, we could have got four between us. I'd be buzzing. I know. Uh, but, yeah, overall, food, really, really great. Yes. Entertainment. Yes. Now, this was the one where it was always going to be challenging for us to review. Yeah. Because at the point that we went on, and still to a degree now, two months later, all of the entertainment is not ready. No. Um, the main shows when we went on, we are in the main theatre here. Yes. So it was being used. Yeah. But it were being used for more this sort of venue or comedy Where as opposed to big, no. perform, big Broadway type shows. Where there's not much production, it's basically the act and whatever equipment they need. Yeah, absolutely. Rather than sets. Yeah. Now, we do know at this point now, we're recording this at the start of May 24, they have got some of the main shows up and running, but not all of them yet. Yes. 
Um, so it is very difficult for us to you know, properly judge this. The main uh, piazza, the atrium, mm -hmm. uh, which is now a proper entertainment venue, I'd say. Yeah. Um, as you can see from here, became an absolute hub. It certainly did, and into the wee small hours as well. Yeah, because it's got kind of stadium seat in three rows and you can see it on that sort of second row that second level above there um so you can right from the top still get a really good view yes whereas you... in the traditional atrium as soon as like two or three people are stood in front of you you can't see, you can't anything. see anything no of course it, it's also got the princess live mm -hmm. and we had a great time in there watching the karaoke oh i do find it really disappointing that most people at karaoke nowadays are really good no, no, it's there's either they're really good or really bad. There's no in between. No, and we had stand up comedy as well, but we've only given it a six and a half oh. out of ten because it's very difficult to properly judge. What we saw was good, yeah, but it was focused around sort of a couple of areas. However, oh. there is a big however attached to this, yes, because spellbound you would also categorise in there as well. Now, you do pay extra for Spellbound because it's a dinner show on it. So you go for dinner, then you come into this part of it. Uh -huh. But from an entertainment perspective, and we don't show much in here, so there's not really any spoilers, um, it is absolutely phenomenal. Just don't get a blue finger. <laughs> don't put your finger in the blue drink. Yeah, in the blue in the candy blue floss. candy floss at the top. Um it is sensational. I loved it. I could go back now, actually. I could do it now. Well, I said earlier on that it's doing things that other ships, Princess and other cruise lines, are not doing. Yeah. Um, and this Spellbound... It was like a premium sorry. attraction. Yeah. I would not feel out of place if we'd done that you know, in anywhere else around the world, not let alone on a cruise ship. And Spellbound is a perfect 10 out of 10. Yes. Yeah, it's not cheap. But you have also got unlimited drinks in there. Yeah, well, it was amazing. Talking of drinks. Love a drink. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing with my tongue there? Goodness uh, me. Uh, you like testing it. Um, the I've got over 200 brand new cocktails on this ship. <laughs> we did not have enough time to get through them all. No, even us. We made a good effort. We tried. I think we got through about 80 or so. Mm -hmm. um, which, that was only in five nights, so that's still... Not bad going. Yeah. Uh, but every restaurant, every bar, every pool bar has its own unique cocktails now. And the pretty much, if you have the premier package, all within that package. Yeah. I don't think we ever paid for anything above any drink. Only only as part of the Spellbound package, but that is... that is That's a different thing. Yeah. Um, and you've got a range of bars that are on other princess ships like Good Spirits but they're now in very different venues to what they were before. So Good Spirits is traditionally near the atrium. Now, that's 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 a Good Spirits classic, is that one? It is. El Fuego. <laughs> <laughs> but we like the new Good Spirits format. Yes. Uh, of it being in its own little venue. In its own little venue, super cute. It was almost, almost like a speakeasy because you had to go find it. And then you went into a door, so you, you didn't just walk through an open area. You didn't need to give a special password, but it kind of felt like that. It did. Oh, we were there till the wee small hours. Yeah, we, we almost got kicked out of that one. We got two very, very high-profile vloggers to do shots with us. We did. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they didn't regret it. <laughs> no, I'm sure they did. Uh, one's like Crooner's Bar, which... We've enjoyed crooners on other princess ships. Yeah. On here, we loved crooners bar. We, this Normally, Good Spirits is our go-to bar before for pre-dinner drinks. Yeah, whereas Good Spirits was our post-dinner. Post-dinner, nighttime, nightcap drinks. This was absolutely our go-to. Yes. Uh, one pretty yeah. much every time. Yeah. And the cocktail list in here, as you can see, as I keep going away from it, is massive this was probably the one that we got the furthest through their menu we did well in here yes uh, oh but it were a great venue as well because it had music in there but the music was good enough that you could hear it no matter where but it wasn't overpowering so you couldn't have a conversation with people that you were sat with that ferrero cocktail my oh it's good what what am i having oh 
I've lost my cherry. You very nearly did. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. But we we would really recommend sort of spending some time in Crooners. As I said the the live music you can see the piano at the back there. Yes. Um, is really great entertainment, and whilst it leads out into the piazza area, yes, you don't really get any bleeding of sort of passing traffic and stuff. It's no, you don't. A really, it nice feels venue. really intimate and really, it's lovely. Yes. Did you like that one? Yeah, I did like that one. <laughs> Look at oh, and whilst and I've shown this mainly for you. Yes. Whilst there is all of the new cocktails, yes, they have still got you. Your favourites. My twenty four carat margarita. You've still got the twenty four carat. Now margarita. I could only still find have the dirty banana. But was it at this bar? This seems to be the classic drinks bar near the pool. Yeah, you could get sort of everything within there. Yeah, uh, and then you've got Bellinis as well. Mm-hmm. We only actually ended up going there a couple of times. Not yeah. that anything wrong with it. We just no. sort of ended up going more towards crooners and yeah, um, good spirits. And the normal is oh goodness me. O'Malley's is definitely a end of the night. Bar. Oh, goodness. It does some amazing cocktails. I was having there. flashbacks then. And, and you can tell how early in the evening it is there. It's not early. <laughs> it's, it's not, not early. early. Um, and they have some fantastic things there. Also, some really good live music as well. Oh. But as I said earlier on, too many drinks, not enough time. Uh, and we give the bars, drinks and cocktails a perfect score, 10 out of 10. Oh, yes. I can't think of what they could have done better. I'm going to give them 11. <gasps> that breaks the system. <laughs> In which case, you just have a drink of your pina colada while I figure out a brand new system. <laughs> Next up, relaxing on board. Yes. So, much bigger ship. Yes. Which means it'll have more people on it. Yes. You would imagine. Mm-hmm. But does that make it easier or harder to relax? Oh, that's a good question. What do you think? It depends where you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, relaxing is subjective. We've said this on on reviews in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for for one person, it's lying by the pool or right. going for a swim. Other ones, it's reading a book. Other people, it's being in the gym. Oh. <laughs> or, 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 or for you, <laughs> having a cocktail at the side of the pool or in the dome here, which is a fantastic. Oh venue. no, no, this was about ten o'clock. I wasn't having a cocktail. Cocktail. I think you'll find that um, there is video evidence, not necessarily on this one, but on the full ship tour, because you're set up there, that you have a mimosa later on. I guess that's a cocktail. (laughs) What did you think of the dome area? I loved it. Now, we never got to do it at night to see how those... Those lounges worked with the performance no, the and everything. Yeah, at that point. and I would, on now. I would like to. I would like to try it. You know, to to, to go back again and and just for you know see that side for, for science for science for testing purposes. And this sort of inside outside pool, mm. um, which was also lovely and warm as well. I thought we were going to be freezing. No, no. Um, if you want, you could swim slightly faster than I'm doing at this point. But I did have a camera to. Yes, yeah, you did. Uh, you literally going straight out into the uh, Sea View Terrace and the bar area, yeah. which, again, really popular oh, it's... place to go out. But, again, we never had any problem getting no, seats there. No, I think it'll only be popular after we've made it popular. <laughs> I don't necessarily know about that. I think <laughs> just the fact that it exists it does and it's exist, on some but don't, may make it popular. But don't forget about it. Don't forget about it. That's no. what I'm saying. And there are some paid relaxation areas as well. Yes. So you've got the Enclave mm-hmm. and you've got the Sanctuary. We'll show yes. the Sanctuary in a second. And you yeah. can see that in our full Sanctuary and Enclave review if you want to go into a lot more detail. I apologise now. Um, and then we've got the Sanctuary area, mm-hmm. which at the time that we went on it, you could pay to go into it. Yes. However, from October this year, October 24th... Oh, it's becoming it special. It's part of the Sanctuary collection. So unless you booked a Sanctuary collection room, mm-hmm. you can't go in here anymore. No. So Sanctuary collection also includes every suite. Okay. They're going to um, love it. They're going. It's going to be so fancy. I mean, it's a big reason to book one of those rooms because we said in our review of it it was the best sanctuary by a mile it beautiful beautiful it for relaxing, oh, Joe. Oh, oh, Joe, yeah. uh, for relaxing we've given it nine out of ten okay i'm gonna i'm gonna ag- agree yeah disembarkation oh we were whizzy we were so we wheeled ourselves off because we were heading off to rome after this we've never wheeled off before we have have we yeah 
We have not yet, overseas, I don't think. Possibly not, no. Now, getting off of the ship, very, very easy. Chichivecchia port for getting off anywhere, slightly more chaotic, but that's not anything to do with the ship. No. That, that's just that. Uh, and we ended up getting the um, train back down to Rome. Which was very reasonable, and we yeah. were staying in Trieste. Yeah. So we could get, we got off the train there. We didn't realise at the time. No. Well, it worked out. It worked so, really well. Some final thoughts. Oh, okay. What are your final thoughts? Loved it. Yeah. Loved it. I want to get, oh, oh look at that. I want to get, I want us to get back on, but when, I'm not sure we will. No, and we said as soon as we got off that it's a ship that we definitely feel that we need to go back on again, which we don't say that very often. So we try to go on different ships so that you know we can do different things on here. And we even got it costed for for Star Princess, wasn't it, for yeah. twenty six of the transatlantic? Yeah. But that's not happening anymore. No, uh, so we won't be doing that one. No, yeah, of course it wasn't ideal that the entertainment wasn't ready properly, um, and I'm sure when the entertainment is done, it'll oh, be an eight, be a nine, or a ten. It'll be fantastic because we did see them rehearsing. I feel bad that we've scored them down, but we had to. You know, it, it's an honest review of what what we experienced at that time, and you know the part nineteen area wasn't open. Yeah. Uh, the sea breeze ride wasn't open, but things like Spellbound were just. Oh, it was amazing. We had high expectations with it, and it surpassed it. Yeah, well, it, it, it even surprised me because you you love magic. Yeah, you're not as bothered, are you? No, I'm um, like Simon Cowell. No. <laughs> um, it is our new favorite princess ship. I've yeah, I've got I've. Look, I've got a rose. <laughs> and we, we genuinely can't wait to get on her again. Yeah. At all. And we'd recommend it to anyone. And we'd give it eight and a half out of ten. I, I, I'm going to give you nine, Sun Prince, because I loved you. Ooh, controversial. I know. <laughs> so an 8.75. No, nine. And that's the end of the review. Well, cheers, darling. Cheers, Lance. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.